welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me so please excuse the fact that my hair is like soaking wet right now um i'm going to dry in a second but i thought i'd involve kind of the hair side of things in this video as well as makeup um but yeah also if you're wondering this is a jumpsuit and it's sparkly and it's covered in rose gold sequins um and it's just so pretty and it is actually from primark and i'm pretty sure i got it for like five pounds in the sale or something so i saw it and i was like that is so me that i have to get it the first thing that i'm going to do is put some hair products on my hair just before i dry it the first product i'm going to use on my hair um i mean to be fair if I was at home, I'd use a heat protect spray as well. But because I'm on holiday, I haven't actually got it with me. But this does have sort of a heat thing in it, I think. So this is the Paul Mitchell Blonde Forever Blonde Dramatic Repair Spray. And this is a smaller bottle. Yeah, so this is actually in a smaller bottle to the proper one. It's kind of more like a travel one. So I just put about five sprays in my hand and then rub my hands together and then just put it on the ends of my hair like this. I try not to put too much like on the actual like on the kind of closer to my roots because I don't want it to look be greasy or anything and then if you feel like you need to add a few more sprays and you can just do that. And I, this just makes um, it feel really a lot healthier, um, makes ends feel a lot healthier because um, it is a dramatic repair spray. So although my hair doesn't have barely any blonde on it anymore because pretty much all of it's been cut off, there is a tiny little bit at the end and it still works pretty much the same. So yeah. Yeah, then I will just brush out my hair with a tangle teaser. If you can't tell, I absolutely love rose gold. I mean, rose gold, rose gold. Oh no, you can't see. This is also rose gold. I mean, how pretty is this? It's just so pretty. This is an actual tangle teaser, but I make sure you brush your hair gently because when your hair's wet, it's really fragile, so you don't want to be splitting any of your hair. So I just brush my hair through gently so that it kind of distributes the spray a little bit more evenly. Also, this tangle teaser comes with this, this kind of back, so you can pull it off, oh, and then you can fit it in, and that helps the bristles on the brush to not become kind of like bent and um, if you place it down on like on a surface or also it's good when you're traveling it doesn't get any like dirt in the brush or anything um so i just think that's really really helpful that it has that but now i'm going to dry my hair and i'll be back with you in a minute so i've dried my hair and yep and basically i'm gonna pop on this headband so that my hair's out of the way and it's so cute so basically i got this from london and it was, i think it was from a shop called neon cheap and it was such a cute shop i got like a few little bits from there and it was actually so cute um so yeah i got this headband and it's little the little like cat ears and they've got really pretty flowers on them so i'm just gonna put these on to get my hair out of the way whilst i do my makeup the first product I'm going to use is this Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturiser. So this is what it looks like. It's actually quite expensive. I think it was like, this isn't a very big pot. Although, to be fair, it does last quite a while. Um, I think it was like £25 or something for this pot, which is quite pricey, to be fair. Um, but it is, honestly, I haven't found a better moisturiser than this to use. So I would 100% recommend this. You really don't have to use a lot and it goes a long way so you literally just use a tiny bit and it's just so it's quite like how do i explain it it feels like it's got a lot of maybe water in it i don't know but that makes it really really moisturizing 
It makes your skin feel so soft. Like, oh, do you want to say hello? Hi! Make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and she put it in the last video though. Yeah, this is my sister. She has a YouTube channel as well. You will have seen her in many of my other videos. I just need to pull it through my hair. Just ignore my hair. <laughs> ignore my hair. Bye, you have a good time. Bye. Right, so. Um, then I've got this little um, makeup bag that I keep my makeup in, obviously, because it's a makeup bag. I'm not entirely sure where it's from. I feel like it was boots or something. I think my mum bought it for me. Um, and it's got sloths on it, and it's so cute. And it's like the perfect size for a makeup bag. I love sloths. I, um, I also uh, get compared to a sloth sometimes, so I really like sloths. Because <laughs> I have basically, I have really, really long arms, and like, long fingers like so a bit like a sword. look how long my arms are <laughs> first thing i'm going to put on is foundation i haven't got a primer with me and any i don't always use a primer anyways like i tend to just go straight in with foundation after moisturizer just because i don't know i find that sometimes the primer makes my uh the makeup flake off a bit and kind of just makes my skin a bit drier so i tend not to use a primer very much but the the foundation that I like to use is the number seven Stay Perfect um, foundation. I think this is a super light one, I'm not entirely sure. And I use the shade Cool Ivory. This is just really, really good. It has SPF 15 in it. And honestly, I've been using the same foundation for three, maybe three or four years. And it's so good. This is a new bottle because mine ran out recently. Um, and they've actually changed the bottle since the last bottle I had, um, which I bought a couple of years ago. But it's this is what the bottle looks like. So I just pop a little bit on the back of my hand and then use a brush and put it on my face. And then after I've used a brush, I tend to blend it with a sponge after that. So Again, another thing that is actually rose gold, like my jumpsuit, is a makeup brush. And I use the Ted Baker one. And also Real Techniques ones as well, which I'll show you in a second. But now I'm just gonna put the foundation on. Now I just put a bit on my neck just to kind of blend out the uh, makeup so it doesn't look like a really big difference between my head, like my face and my neck. My foundation is now on so now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to blend the foundation again but using a beauty blender sponge this time. So the sponge that I actually use is this one. Now it is a little bit dirty but it's not too bad because this is a pretty new sponge. Um, so when I first bought it, it was baby pink and it had sparkles in it. I mean it still does have sparkles in it but it's not as pink anymore because it's got makeup on it. Go. It's a Real Techniques one because I found that I can't use, seem to use any other sponge because other sponges seem to just make my skin flake and that make like it just makes the make, makeup flake off because they're either too hard or too soft. But this is just I find the Real Techniques one the perfect kind of texture. I think that's the word. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But then I just use this big side here and to blend most of my face and then I use the smaller side to do like my eyes and stuff and also to blend concealer in a minute. <laughs> All the foundation is blended into my face and the next thing I'm going to use is concealer. This is honestly my favourite concealer at the moment because I basically had a Primark concealer, which was also really, really good. Um, however, 
it ran out really quickly and when I went to try and get another one from Primark they've actually I'm pretty sure they've discontinued it so it's but I found this the Maybelline Fit Me concealer and it's literally pretty much the same packaging and it's really really similar but I'd actually say this is probably a bit better um and obviously it was a little bit more expensive than the Primark one but really still really inexpensive and great as a kind of high street um concealer i pretty much just put this under my eyes and any red areas that i've got on my face which isn't too many at the minute but i think it's because i haven't been having more makeup in like a while actually well in a probably like a week or something well i've been i've worn a bit of mascara but i haven't worn much makeup because i've been on holiday so and I tend to just do a bit there. This isn't like the lightest concealer compared to my foundation, but I don't need it to be too light because I don't know. I just, I, I didn't want to go too, too light and then it's like really obvious. Also, as I'm on holiday at the minute, I'm just wondering, like comment down below if you're on holiday or you're going on holiday this year. I'd love to know what you guys are up to with this summer holidays um because i'm just interested okay so next is powder um well, again this is kind of new i basically had to get loads of makeup because recently because um a lot of it like ran out at the same time which is really inconvenient um but it means i've got quite a lot of new makeup which is it feels so nice to put new makeup on like your skin like it's so much more for example like the foundation is a lot more you can tell that it's new um and the same with everything else really the concealer you can tell it's new like the consistency of it is just really really nice so the powder that i use is the rimmel clear complexion radiox radio i don't know how to say this clarifying powder that word right there that word obviously it's backwards for you probably r-a-d-i-e-u-x i don't know how to say that but we're just gonna just ignore it um i don't even know what it means so we don't need and again i'm going to use my um ted baker brush which is rose gold so pretty uh, honestly pink rose gold anything like that if i see something that's rose gold or pink i just can't resist but pink is my actual favorite color i mean you probably already know that so i just put a little bit on and literally just put it everywhere Just to kind of hopefully set the makeup that's on my face. Um, cake, like, do I have too much makeup that is like cakey or anything? I always like my, my makeup looks to be quite light and fresh um, rather than just caked on my face. Uh, yeah. The next thing would be blusher, however, for some reason, it's not in here. I've got the brush, the blusher blusher brush which is the real techniques um brush and i love this and also this is really pretty and the brushes are really really great as well um however for some reason the blush isn't in the makeup bag so we're gonna skip that but that's okay because i don't put too much on anyway so the eyeshadow i'm going to use is the tanya burr cosmetics enchanted dream eye palette now this is probably the one i showed you in my get uh morning routine video so you're probably going to think i've been using this ever since then but i haven't actually the one i like to use is i heart revolution nude palette i think that's actually my favorite palette probably of all time um however i don't have that many kind of big branded uh eyeshadow palettes or anything anyway so i really haven't tried too many out but the out of ones i tried the i heart revolution nude palette is probably my favorite however this is definitely um closely uh competitive competitive com competing <laughs> with closely competing with the revolution palette so this is what the front looks like it's like purple and shiny and has stars on it and these are the colours inside 
so i tend to use the moonlit walk shade which is this one right here in the corner of my eye because it's really light um so yeah Again, I'm using a Ted Baker eyeshadow brush. Honestly, love these brushes. I got them for Christmas um, one year. And I've been using them ever since, and they're just fabulous. And then I normally use this one here, Coco Plum. But I'm thinking of possibly going with this Berry Souffle colour. It'll either complement or clash massively with this jumpsuit. Do we just go for it anyways, or do we go for the really dark magic carpet one? I don't want to go too out there. Let's go with the berry souffle and just give it a go. To be fair, I actually think that looks really nice. It's quite a neutral colour. It's also like quite a nice pop of colour on the eyes just to widen your eyes a bit and make the blueness of my eyes stand out. Is blueness a word? I don't think it is. Now I only have three things left to do and the first thing is eyebrows. So all, literally all I do, and I do this is pretty much I always ever do to my eyebrows. Um, Oh, except for the odd exception, is just brush them. So I brush the front bits um, up a bit and then I kind of brush around a bit. That's what I tend to do, just to give them a bit of shape. So that's eyebrows done, quick and easy. Now the next thing is mascara. So I've been loving this mascara. Again, this is quite new, um, but it's the number seven extreme length and it's a waterproof mascara. I've not actually tried it out to see if it's waterproof yet or not, but I don't like to risk it really. So I'm gonna pop this on and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so I have applied my mascara and look at those lashes. I mean, I haven't even put any on the bottom lashes because I just don't normally put them on the bottom. Um, and literally the final step is lipstick. So again, I, this is pretty much the only lipstick I ever wear. It's ever another a Primark one, which is actually really good. Um, but I can't remember what it's called or anything. So this is a Max Factor, um, but, and it's the Burnt Caramel. So this is just such a lovely lipstick. Right, I'm just come a bit closer so you can see the colour of the lipstick and it's so pretty. Um, and now all I'm going to do is my hair. I'm not sure, I'm either going to keep my hair like this and keep the headband on or I'm going to curl my hair. But anyways, that is the end of the Get Ready With Me. I'd also say please go and um, follow my Instagram account. It's Sparkle Rewind. I'll leave it in the description. Then please go and follow and you will get reg more regular updates of what's going on, my, on in my channel so see you soon bye makeup is looking good thank you for watching and i will see you again soon bye